Are you ready to practice a few more addition of exponents? Well, let's get started with number one. So in number one, we can see that there's a three and a two. Those aren't exponents, and so they'll just multiply them like normal numbers. So three times two is six. Then we see x to the minus two and x to the six. Now the exponent rule says that you should add them. So you take the minus two and you add it to the six and minus two plus six is four. So we'll say x to the power of four. Then we look at the y to the power of eight and y to the power of minus five. Well, we're supposed to add them. So that's gonna be eight plus minus five. But plus and minus just gives you a minus. So it's actually just saying eight minus five and that's three. So it's y to the power of three. Moving on to number two. So we see one minus. And so if you only have one minus, well, it means your answer is gonna be a negative. Then if we look at the x's, we see that there's just an x and an x. Now remember, next to each of those x's, well, they each have an exponent of one. And so what should we do with their exponents? Well, we should add them. And so that's just gonna give us x to the power of two. And then here we have y to the power of two and y to the power of minus one. And so what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to add them. And two plus minus one, well, a plus and a minus is a minus. So it's actually just two minus one, which is one. And so you can say y to the power of one, or you can just say y. And moving on to the last one. So here's where people try to change up the rules for some reason. So they'll say something like this. And if you're doing this at home, it's okay. Many of my students do do this, but just look out for this, okay? So they straight away, they go and they say four. All right, now, what would a three times by a two b. Well, many people don't have a problem with this. They say, okay, well, because it's a and a, they're the same. And then they add the exponents and they say a to the power of five, hundred percent correct. Notice that the a did not change. It stays a. So why, when we see a two and a two, do we want to make it a four? I understand that two times two is four, but this isn't two times two. It's two to the power of three times by two to the power of four. Remember, this is one unit. And this is one unit. So you don't want to do that. What you do want to do is stick to the rule. And what the rule tells us is that when these numbers are the same, you leave it like that and then you add the exponents like that. Now that's the better way to do it, okay? So don't fall into that trap where you can try to make that turn into a four. And so here we can spot a two to the power of two and a two to the power of five. Why am I not interested in the three to the power of three? Well, we're looking at the bases that have a two at the moment. Just like in these previous examples, we didn't combine X's with Y's. We put X's together and we put Y's together. And so remember, we keep it as a two. And what do we do with the exponents? Well, you add those. So it just becomes two to the power of seven. Now we can look at the threes, and that's three to the power of three and three to the power of four. We're not gonna turn that into a nine. We're gonna leave it as three because the bases stay the same. And then we add exponents, and that becomes three to the power of seven. So once again, we do know that three times three is nine, but this isn't three times three. This is totally different. This is three to the power of three times by three to the power of four. So things are different.